The following is a short presentation of David Medassi's Solo Sculpture Exhibition at the Mystic Art Center. The center itself is over 100 years old and sits on the banks of the Mystic River. David Medassi will now speak about one of his favorite pieces, Desperately Seeking Letta. How, uh, what, the, what is the story about this 
swan that you that intrigued you to to try and make something like this? Well, I uh, I, did, I didn't start out to make to make it. Uh, I actually, was working with these pieces and uh, had this square cubic front piece and this triangular shape back end. And uh, at some point, I realized they would go together and. And they made me think of the shape of the swan, and it had this curved, curved piece. And when I got the idea about about the swan, uh, I remembered the this uh, legend of, of based on Greek mythology of, of Leda and the swan. And it's been painted, it was painted uh, many many times by uh, uh, during the Renaissance. Uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted it, although. His original uh, didn't survive, and uh, and the story is that that Zeus. Uh, uh, Le you, you said Leonardo da Vinci painted something like this. He, he painted the story of Leda and the Swan. Oh. So so anyway, I uh, most of the uh, paintings have this beautiful portrait of of this voluptuous Leda, and then there's a part of that, but Zeus. Changed himself. He was a Greek god. Uh, Leto was immortal, I believe, uh, and uh, changed himself into the form of a swan. Leto was married, uh, so he came and seduced Leto. Uh, she subsequently gave birth in the in the legend to two eggs, which hatched, and in each egg there were two uh, children, uh, one pair from uh, Zeus and the other pair from from Leto's uh, Leto's husband. And I'm a little bit curious where you found some of these pieces. I noticed the neck is, has a very nice swan shape. Was that just an accidental find, or did you...? Uh, that, that's actually out of a piano. Uh, it was a, attached to the top of the sounding board, and all the, uh, the strings in the, in the harp of the piano wound through somehow across uh, between these, these metal pieces. So it was part of that. Um, that was a part of a project I did a couple of years ago, and the, uh, the hammers from the piano are also part of that, that sort of sort of feathers, and uh, and the uh, head is the a valve bronze uh, that uh, uh, I recently inquired in the uh, uh, creative junk pile at at I Park Artists Enclave in East Haddam. Uh, Ralph generously uh, said I could take a few pieces, and it originated in Youngstown, Ohio, um, where, where I originated. So I was uh, happy to get that piece. Okay. Well, it's one of my favorite pieces, and it, it certainly got a lot of attention at the show on Friday night. So congratulations on this unique piece, and congratulations on your whole show. It was very nice.